Jack Gable, like a clock Gable, but without a cleft chin. <laughs> You're cute. I'll see you later. <laughs> she thinks I'm cute. <laughs> Fine, you're cute. And you'll be deaf and dumb, and I'll do all the talking. Oh, stop it. Why not, Jack? It's perfect. I can't be deaf and dumb. I, I, I don't know any sign language. So you'll make it up. It's easy. It is not. Of course it is. Try it. Just try it. Say yes. <laughs> Say no. <laughs> Maybe. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I have an idea. All right. <laughs> Stop that, Jack. Stop doing that. It isn't funny. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. But I'm sure it's not real sign language. We'll tell them it's a new system signing for the simple. We'll say you can't hear a thing. You read lips, but only mine. Now the problem is that Audrey heard you talking just now, so you'll have to wear a beard or something so she, so she doesn't recognize you. I look terrible in the beard. That's not the point. Now what have we got? Here, how about this? No! Try it! It looks fake. Now, how about with this hat? <laughs> Better. <laughs> now, how about with these glasses? Perfect. Very good reviews. Because you write them. 
<laughs> oh, look at this. It's perfect. Titania, queen of the fairies. I will not wear that. It, it has wings on it. <laughs> Cut them off? No. Jack, don't you remember the good old days? We said we could do anything, and we believed it. You played Richard III with that big hump on your back and hobbled around the stage like some deranged homunculus. You played Romeo and bounded gracefully onto Juliet's balcony. You brought the house down. I brought the balcony down. <laughs> <laughs> Just that one night? <laughs> but Leo, those were all men. I can't possibly play a woman. Why not? Because I'm a chap, a bloke, a guy. And who do you suppose played all the women's roles in Shakespeare's time, hmm? Chaps. And how did they do it? Small braziers. <laughs> with conviction, with sheer talent, because they were actors like you and me. If we do this right, we can be successful actors. We can start over, go to Los Angeles. Will you rise to the occasion? Will you meet the challenge? Will you fulfill your destiny and save your best friend from a life of crushing defeat and disappointment, yes or no? no. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> we'll get off at the next stop, send them a telegram, get into costume, get back on the train, and then it's on to York, Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs>